Okay, so just a short favorites list this month. I want to start it out with skincare. I was contacted by Origins and they asked me if I wanted to try out the original skin essence. And this video is actually brought to you by Origins and I've heard a lot about essence um, in the past like, year or so because you know there's all these Korean beauty bloggers that talk about essence. So I never really quite understood it until I got it. So essentially it's a moisturizer or like a liquid lotion that you apply to your skin after you wash it or right after you use a mask or something like that. So Origins is expanding their quarter life skincare line. So it's funny because when they contacted me, I was going through like a quarter life crisis as well. And I talked about this in my skincare video because I mean, my hair is already graying and it's pretty obvious, but I started seeing wrinkles up on my forehead and just kind of around my eyes and whatnot. So I started freaking out a little bit and they started this campaign called Quarter Life Crisis. And I was just like, dude, this is exactly what I'm going through. Even though I'm not 25, I'm actually a little bit older than 25. But when they reached out to me and they sent me details about this, I was super excited to try it out. So yeah, because of this, because I started using this to moisturize my skin every morning, um, I haven't been wearing foundation. I'm actually not wearing any foundation today. I'm just wearing blush and lipstick and a little bit of brow color and you know I haven't been able to do that since like middle school I would say um, or before I even started breaking out so I guess before middle school I'd always wear powder or concealer or something like that um, today I'm not wearing any concealer any foundation any powder or anything just a little bit of blush a bold lip and some eyebrow colors this has been keeping my skin super balanced so i'll link where you can buy it down below but you can also buy it at origins.com any origin store and sephora.com as well so this is meant to increase the moisture levels in your skin um, smooth out like texture and then also minimize pores so i put it on my hands and then pat it in place and just like pat it into my skin and then I kind of do it a couple more times just so that it fully absorbs into my skin and the smell of it is just so refreshing that it just wakes me up so I think that's another reason why I do it so many times even though that's not quite necessary so the key ingredient in this product is Canadian willow herb which is supposed to make your skin appear less dull boost glow and help restore skin's clarity and luminosity and yeah I've only been using this for a few weeks but I saw results instantly so I stopped wearing foundation instantly and it's made such a huge difference because I just feel a lot more confident in my skin. For those of you who don't know, Lindsay is one of my closest friends. She's married to Nick, who you guys have seen in my videos in the past. Um, but she has her own skincare line and it's called Anise. This is um, Bless This Mess, which is made with real holy water, which is hilarious. So her stepdad is actually ordained, so he blessed the water. This is actually my favorite fragrance because it smells like, to me, it smells like clean laundry. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's an elixir. So you can actually um, spray it all over your face, all over your hair. Use it as a body spray if you wanted to. I use this for everything, I mean, obviously. But I love the smell of this one. This one is actually my favorite. It's Bless This Mess. She has another one called Fuck Bad Vibes, which has like almond, sandalwood, and whatnot in it. So it's a bit more masculine. The thing that I love probably the most about this is that the bottles are massive. like huge and you get a lot of product and it's totally affordable too but of all the ones that i've tried i really like bless this mess it's my favorite but there's also will you accept this rose which is kind of like a i mean rosy obviously um but none of these are offensive none of these are like oh my god it's so like this one when i first where is it out of office okay so when i first heard about this i thought it was gonna be really really fruity and like really sweet it's passion fruit and aloe but it instantly became one of my faves and i wore it like non-stop until i got all the other fragrances but this is something that you can just spray all over right when you get out of the shower there's an oil blend which is moisturizing there's aloe in it so it's good for your skin and then there's also witch hazel which is what a lot of people use as a toner but gotta peace out i mean obviously i douse my whole body with this when i get out of the shower and it smells so good this is coconut neroli and then there's also smells like queen spirit which is something that nick actually uses a lot um all of these fragrances are actually pretty androgynous i love this one it's orange blossom vanilla which i really love but i gotta say gotta peace out bless this mess is my favorite and then out of office is probably my next favorite so yeah i'm really proud of Lindsay for making these it literally just came out of nowhere so shocking next i want to talk about minor history because okay so i bought this circle bag from bagu which i really liked but I bought it because I was looking for just a circle bag in general and I couldn't find the Minor History one anywhere. So um, for those of you who don't know about Minor History, I did make a What's in My Bag video featuring one of their totes once. And if you guys want me to make a What's in My Bag video for this bag, then let me know. Anyway, a lot of people would message me on like 
Tumblr and on Instagram about my bag. And they're like, oh hey, so like, do you recommend the bag from Baggu at all? And I like it, the only thing is that it's a pretty substantial bag. Like there's a lot of material in it. So there's like the leather on the outside, it's completely lined on the inside. It's a really good bag, the only thing is that it loses its shape for me because I tend to overstuff my bags with like, the reason why I started carrying a bag around is because I wanted to carry my camera. So when I started carrying my camera in that bag, it kind of loses its shape and then I just realized over time that that's not the right bag for me. So whenever people would message me on Instagram or on Tumblr about my bags asking me if I would recommend it, I kept saying, get the one from Minor History and if you want it, then I'll trade with you. I actually got that question like a few times actually and then no one really went through and um, got it. So Minor History actually reached out to me on Instagram and they're like, hey, we'll set one aside for you. Which color do you want? And I'm like, I want the black one. I love it. So they sent me a black one and I am totally in love with it. It's lined on the outside or the uh, piping is on the outside. So it stays a perfect circle the entire time. And it just goes with like my circle tattoo. It just, I love it so, so much. The leather is nice and soft too. When I saw photographs of it, I was afraid that the leather would be like a hard textured leather, but it's actually super soft. It's about the same size as my Bagu one. I like this one a lot because it, it can actually store a lot more stuff than my Bagu one, even though my Bagu one is relatively the same size. Um, there's only one pocket on the inside, so I don't lose anything, which is nice. I usually just put a wallet on that s slot right there. But um, they actually sent me this as well, which is a little red envelope card case, which right when I saw it, I'm like, holy cow. It reminds me of, you know, when like Lunar New Year or Chinese New Year, your parents and your grandparents and whatnot give you like a little red envelope. It reminds me of that, which brings you good luck. So I love that concept and I already had a really good wallet from Comme des but I switched everything over right away because I love the idea of carrying a bright red card case because it brings me good luck. And the great thing about this is that you can stick it into your bag and you'll find it right away because it's bright red. So even at the bottom of my black bag, I can find it. So I'm super stoked on this. If you guys are looking for like a school bag, they also have some bigger totes as well that are really good, but this is just perfect for every day. It fits my Canon G7X, so I can carry actually two cameras around if I wanted to and it totally fits in this. So I'm stoked on this and I love it so much. Oh, so for a magazine, I want to start incorporating magazines in here because I never talk about magazines, but this is Overgrowth, which is like a photography book, I would say. This is like a floral book. So there's all these portraits of just flowers and it's so beautiful. Look at that. And the artist is Patrick Fitzgerald, which I believe he was featured in Ken Folk before, or maybe he does photography for Ken Folk. I just love having this out like next to my bed or like on a coffee table. I've had it on my couch for a little while, so anyone who came over can like look at it, but God, these images are just so beautiful and I love the way they spaced it to like that so I don't know it's just totally inspirational I wish I could do something like this I guess when I start like a scrapbook or whatever um, I'm gonna lay it out like this a little bit but yeah it's mainly portraits so you can leave it open on any page and it would just be beautiful like that isn't that so nice? So if you're looking for photography inspiration, I highly recommend this. So my friend Kirill opened a shop called County Limited like a little while ago, and he sells this, which is a Japanese cast iron skillet. It's just a very minimal looking cast iron skillet. It's a little bit heavier than my, um, my Griswold cast iron skillets, but it just looks so cool. So um, I'm really excited about this. I haven't cooked with it yet, but it has to be one of my favorites because I just love having it out and looking at it. It's just so beautiful. But anyway, the reason why I bought this is because not only do I have an obsession with cast iron skillets, this looks to me like a cartoon cast iron skillet. And I got this when I was with Estee and Aslan showing them around LA. It just brings me so many good memories with them. If you're ever in Silver Lake, I'll list um, information on County LTD down below. Um, you can contact them about the skillet too. I'm not really sure who made it because it's not really branded or anything like that. I just know it's made in Japan and it's just beautiful to look at. So last thing I want to talk about is this film called Network, which is from 1976. It's basically about a news anchor who has been doing his job for way too long. The first time I watched it, I was in film school and we were learning about like network television, obviously, and broadcasting and how um, media today is so desensitized, basically. So there's this thing called the Hindenburg disaster, which was this tragedy that was filmed. It's of a blimp filled with like 30-ish people. Basically, it just caught on fire and fell down. Everyone inside died. Anyways, the person who filmed it and the person who um, just broadcast it, basically, 
he was so horrified by it that like in his tone and his voice in the film like you're just when you watch it you're totally like holy shit this is the worst disaster ever but in any case the movie network is about how this anchor is just totally desensitized by what the news that he's giving out so he talks about like a poor puppy and like all these people dying sicknesses and whatnot and he's just desensitized by it so over time like obviously his ratings fall through and he's getting kicked off television so he gets this news that he's gonna get laid off because his ratings are so poor so he goes on television and just tells everyone that he's gonna commit suicide no one picks it up in his network like no one sees that he's doing it but eventually someone runs through the door and after they go on commercial break and they're like hey Howard Beale just said that he's gonna commit suicide on live television like what the fuck and then everyone's like, wait, he did? And then he goes back on the air and they're like, oh, he's just stressed out or whatever. But then obviously um, the network makes him apologize the following week. But instead of apologizing, he goes on television and starts just talking about the existing world and how he just hates it and how um, we need to do something about it and how he's mad as hell and all this stuff. And then people like tune in and watch it and the ratings just keep spiking because he's like the modern day prophet. So basically it's just about how we are desensitized by current day television so we have to like jazz it up with all this new stuff. Just like how MTV fell through because it can't just be a music television anymore. You have to do live television and like reality and all that stuff. It kind of breaks down network television, how we have to entertain people. You can't just be a news anchor, you have to be like a show host. In any case, check out that film. Let me know what you think. Um, if you're in film school, I'm sure you've already watched it, but um, also, even if you're not into that kind of stuff, even if you're not into network television or like learning about it or just any of that stuff, Watch it because Faye Dunaway's in it and her style's impeccable in that movie. She just wears the coolest outfits. Yeah, so watch it just for that. Or like, go Google images of it because her style is just spot on. And it's just such a cool movie. I just love the feeling of the movie and I love that it's just so do-it-yourself. Filmed in a do-it-yourself kind of way. Like how um, Vincent Gallo movies are done where it just, it's not too flashy, the music's not too much. It's just a very tasteful movie in my opinion. So yeah, those are my favorites. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I gave a good enough explanation of everything. If you guys have any questions, please link them down below. I'll leave all the links to all the items in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.